Many of us are hopeful about many things. But what is hope? Is it a journey of expectation or an assured reality? Well, there's a big difference. And in today's broadcast, we'll discuss it in more detail. Thanks for tuning in to Life as God Intended. And if you haven't done so already, for subscribing to the channel and sharing these videos with your friends. And I love hearing from you. So please, after you've listened to this broadcast, give me your comments in the comments section below. So what about it? Hope. Is it a journey of expectation or is it a assured reality in your life? Well, Proverbs 13, 12 reminds us that hope deferred makes the heart sick. But desire fulfilled is a tree of life. So what does it truly mean that hope deferred makes the heart sick? Well, many may say nobody enjoys waiting. <laughs> However, such a response places the focus squarely on our desires and what we want. But is that what the proverb intends to convey? Let's delve into the two critical words in this context. The first, the word deferred, and the second, fulfilled. You see, it's essential to ponder what we are waiting for or fixated on. When our hope centers on self-gratification and, Im and immediate in fulfillment, then any delay can invoke feelings of despair. Now we've all been there. When our expectations are repeatedly postponed, lead it leads to disappointment and sometimes disillusionment. And the burden of waiting can become almost unbearable, frankly, akin to a prolonged illness. And this encapsulates the essence of Solomon's wisdom when he says, hope deferred makes the heart sick. But notice in this same context that deferred implies a drawn out process or postponement. Hope deferred can manifest in several forms. For example, unanswered prayers for loved ones, prolonged job dissatisfaction, an enduring illness, or a series of personal setbacks. As we yearn for significant outcomes that are continually delayed, the reluctant longing can deeply affect our emotional and mental well-being, potentially leading to depression, anxiety, even physical ailments. Ultimately, hope deferred can pave the way for despair. Contrary to hope deferred, Proverbs 13, 12 contrasts with what we read, desire fulfilled is a tree of life. You see, throughout scripture, the tree of life symbolizes God's abundant provision and expression of his character. Jesus Christ proclaimed, I have come that they might have life and have it to the full in John 10.10. 10. Choosing to partake of the tree of life entails aligning with God's character and as such bearing the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, which I rather call the godly control of self. You see, for Christians, hope transcends mere expectations of the future. 
and it centers on Jesus Christ himself. As the psalmist declared, And now, Lord, what do I wait for? My hope is in you. Psalm 39, 7. Christian hope finds its ultimate fulfillment in Christ, grounded in love. When we anchor our hope in him, we are assured of his unwavering faithfulness. He becomes our steadfast anchor, ensuring that our hope will never disappoint, for his love permeates our lives through the Holy Spirit. Christian hope in the New Covenant entails expectation associated with the living Lord Jesus, who is our hope, 1 Timothy 1.1. 1, 1. It rests on the finished work of Jesus Christ, ensuring a certain reality in him. Our hope is not tentative, but rooted in the assurance that Jesus is actively at work in our lives today and forever, expressing his character through us. So, what are you waiting for? What are you hoping in? You see, as we wait, God waits too, waiting to see if our hope is solely in him. If we trust him in every aspect of our lives, as Peter exhorts us, our hope is not passive, but alive, infused with the certainty of Christ's resurrection, a reality that transforms our lives. Hope is not merely a waiting game. It's a profound reality in Christ offering assurance and certainty amidst life's uncertainties. Hope is truly experiencing life as God intended. <music>